And now from MRI studies, people say when you say something, you have conceptual preparation, you have grammatical encoding, and then you have to make it into sound. You get all this uh, separate stage. And then this separate stage, you have to find a lemma or men mental lexicon to be coded. And you have to make the surface structure from the conceptual scheme into this surface structure. And self perceive did you say anything wrong? So this all happened in when you make an utterance. All these are step. Morphology, phonological encoding, phonetic encoding, articulation. This is the output side, and this is the conceptual side. So if you look at anatomical difference, conceptual preparation is here. Phonological retrieval is up there, if auditory area, and then. Phonological encoding include broadcast area and there's area that you have the output so you can see the motor strip was involved. <coughs> and then self-monitoring this area when you say something wrong and you want to correct them. That's where activate activated. So you can, we can see from this analysis based on a lot of studies that uh, the group people from Nijmegen that they put it together a nice stage analysis. But the most important, interesting thing about is this particular study just been published about a month ago. They use a lot of words and then have subject listen to some people start talking about story, and then they scan hard we every words, and then after that they take all this. Uh, scan and then semantically mapping out where are all the words. You see, very beautiful pictures. All the words and how they group together. But I want to, I want to show you this. I, I hope it works. From nature. This is a map no, no, of someone's brain, showing roughly which areas respond when they hear different words. For example, That's where all the words being scanned reliably responds to hearing listening to a story. Top. Close, top. But it's not just one word, one location. A single word can activate a whole range of different brain regions. You can really see. Every so word, the word top, that a bit of where are they activated to respond to words associated in the with brand. clothing and appearances. But also here with numbers and measurements. And here with buildings and places. We usually think of language as being restricted to certain sections like the temporal lobe. So researchers were surprised I just to find activity you, that's a, all across the brain and in both that's hemispheres. Fine. The map give you a sense of what technology can enable us to look at consistently. When they are listening to a story, you listen a second time, or you tell the other people, those area, the word for example, top, and then you look around the area, is something related with the top. In other words, all the cluster or the meaning was there, related. We've never been able to show that. And this study really gives you a great things to look at and it. And they could group 